working out with these ball hog gloves is changing everything, the whole dynamic of the workout. It takes away your grip. So the ball slips out of your hands. You really gotta be able to control the ball. For quality basketball training products, go ahead and log on to ballhoggloves.com. God first, work until. So, you know, the Jazz will have to find a way. They've lost three straight. They've given up an average of 124 points in the three losses. And how about the jump? Now you saw when Stevens got it in the post. What the Jazz, what the Jazz do is marketing gets an easy one, but they're trying to blitz on, on the post ups. And we hit the five minute mark. Fast moving, not a lot of fouls or free throws. Lamar Stevens, baseline scored over Pascal. Egregious things that are let go, and you just play on. Maybe you give them a warning. But unfortunately, Jazz are missing an important piece. Garland goes half court set, passes out. Stevens on a drive against Conley, rises up, shoots and hits. Yeah, he's got to get going here. He can be deadly for Utah. They need him to really start uh, making an impact. 41% on the year from downtown, so 6.9. Right back at you. To get wide open looks from the three point line. Stevens playing with confidence, drops in two more. Lamar Stevens takes the shot, one bounce out, tapped out by Mobley. Stevens with a loose, loose ball, wrap around bucket, and right now the offense seems to be rolling through straight on, but an air ball. Utah's down 11, and it jumps to 13 on the bucket down low in the paint. Utah has missed 10 consecutive shots, and for the night they are 9 of 29 now from 3. Cross court, breaking, easy bucket, and Stevens now with 19. And now here he is on the perimeter. Royce O'Neal, what a great job tonight defensively. It's a lot of pride by this young man. Donovan tries to split the double team, and now a whistle comes. Well, Mike's doing a good job of closing the distance and making contact, but obviously not enough for the officials. Stevens, 21 point night. Thursday, Friday, Saturday to regroup and think and hopefully T to get a player or two back. And maybe one of those players will be Rudy Gobert.